Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three ways in which you can make money online in 2022 and 2023. If you've been watching any of my videos, already know that I'm married and I got two kids and I've been working remotely for the past three years. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the ways in which I have been able to achieve this. So if you are serious about building an ecosystem of online businesses that can help you to generate income or passive income really every single day for the next couple of years or maybe even longer then this video is for you before we get started if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so just hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything new and the fact that you did actually click on this video is an indication that you might actually end up liking some of the videos that i create on this channel and of course don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up so that i know that you enjoyed it so without further ado let's get into our video so firstly one of the many ways in which you can make money online is by becoming a consulting partner or a reseller for software companies so a consulting partner or reseller what they usually do is just they learn how to use a product or service and then they start reselling the product or service to either single customers or growing businesses so there are companies there are many companies that are actually doing this who have partner programs or reseller programs such as zoho Zoho is one of the companies that I've mentioned on this particular platform so many times and I am a certified Zoho CRM consultant so I actually do know what I'm talking about this works and you can also consider working with companies such as Shopify, Klaviyo, HubSpot, Pipedrives, Sprout Social there are quite a lot of companies out there that also offer consulting services where you can resell their products and services on a commission. So consulting partners can make anything from between 15 to 30% of the total amount in sales. And this is per commission. And really how much you make as a reseller also depends on what other additional services that you're willing to provide. Do you just want to be reselling software? Do you also want to provide customer support? Do you want to do training? Do you want to provide technical support? and that will also then determine how much money you can make so as a consulting partner you can also charge anything from between fifty dollars to three hundred dollars per hour depending on the services that you're providing so what i like about being a consulting partner or reseller is that you don't necessarily need to be an expert in the products or services that you're selling because most software companies actually provide you with certified training and support to help you to understand how to use their products how to resell their products and they're willing to give you even 24 hours support so that even if that is what you want to do you're not always stranded or you're not left to fend for yourself you always have a team of people that are behind you to help you to continue to push the product and what i like about working with software companies is the fact that because most of them are literally cloud based you can work from anywhere so you can literally set up your home office and start working remotely if you decide you want to relocate from one country to the other you're not going to lose your clientele you're still able to provide services and you're still able to sell software from wherever you are so this is something that i know quite a lot about because that's something that i am doing now and i think that there's a lot of opportunities for people to continue to do this because software companies are always looking for new markets to enter they're always looking for partners to work with in different countries and right now in africa there's a big boom where a lot of businesses are starting to grow and showing interest in cloud-based products so there's a real demand for these type of services so you can always decide and see where you want to work in which countries or markets that you also want to target or support so the second way that you can make money online in 2022 and 2023 is by doing transcription jobs so you can become a transcriber i know i've mentioned subscribing on this channel before but it's only simply because i continue to see a real market and opportunities within this particular space and i know that there are quite a lot of people who are still a little hesitant and not quite sure how to go about it so when you're transcribing what you're essentially doing is listening to audios and videos or even clips and then transferring all that into text. everything that you're hearing and then you put it on text right yeah i think that's the easiest way to explain it 
And what I like about it is that it's not only limited to English. I know a lot of people think that, oh, you need to be fluent in English and the only English related transcription jobs, which is not true because there's so many other opportunities in terms of other languages where you can work as a transcriber. There's French, there's Mandarin, there's Spanish. And right here in South Africa, there are also opportunities to be a transcriber if you want to be transcribing in Afrikaans. So it's not just limited to English transcription jobs. There are many other languages that you can also do. So if you're fluent in different languages, there's an opportunity for you to get into that space. So here in South Africa, you can earn anything between 175 rand to maybe even a thousand rands, depending on the payment model or your structure in terms of how you want to be paid for your services. And there are multiple ways in which you can actually set up your payment model. You can either decide to say, okay, for example, I want to charge per 1000 words. I want to charge per minute or I want to charge per hour. And per, per minute, I'm talking about if, you're, if, you, if you get an audio or a video clip that is 60 minutes, that means you're going to be charging per minute. And if someone gives you an audio clip that is maybe three hours long, you're going to decide, okay, I want to charge per hour instead of per minute. So it really just depends on how you want to work. And what I also like about transcriptions is that if there's more than one person in the audio, or in the video or the clip that you're listening to, you can also then decide to charge per person. So if there are three people who are in a boardroom and they're having a meeting and then you also have have to do that just transcribe whatever it is they're talking about then you also have the opportunity to be able to charge per person and not just per hour per 1000 words and so on so there are different ways in which you can do it and what i like about transcription jobs is that the opportunities in the medical space when people you'll find that when doctors are also operating or they're doing major surgeries these days they also do um, audio recordings or video recordings and sometimes they need like a, a text-based report which you can then transcribe and you don't even need to be in the medical space to be to be able to do that was so essentially what you're doing is just listening and typing so as long as you know how to type fast and you are very comfortable with word and any other platform that allows you to be able to do text-based content then you can consider transcription and i think it's a really good way to be able to earn money online because just like being an online reseller you can do this from anywhere in the world because essentially you're going to be receiving all the content anyway um, through the internet and then you're also going to just submit the documents as well online so you can work from anywhere and you can do this so some of the best places to start if you want to become a transcriber you can use go transcript um, you can use Scribi, you can also look at Fiverr, Upwork. There are many opportunities for people to use any of those different marketplaces or platforms to become a transcriber. So last on this list is becoming a content creator. I know, I know, you've probably heard this before and you're like, ah, okay, now I'm dropping off this video. But before you drop off, just hear me out. I'm a content creator, so I know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to some of the opportunities that are there in the space and the creator economy is changing and evolving so there's so many opportunities for people who want to become youtubers who want to become vloggers so there are different type of content creators out there so you can be a youtuber you can be a vlogger you can be a streamer you can be a blogger you can be writing so it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be in front of the camera because there are also other People within the creator economy are also making money, such as people that you never see, like your videographers and your video editors, including all the other businesses that create some of the awesome software that we use as content creators to create content, to grow and monetize our channels. So how do content creators make money? So content creators make money mainly from ad revenue. This is one of the major things. So you can decide to create audio uh, content on a podcast, or you can create video content like I do, or you can become a blogger. Then you upload it on these different platforms and then advertisers come and put ads on your content. And you're then able to earn money from this. For those on YouTube and Facebook, content creators take 45% of the ad revenue and then those platforms take about 55% of the total ad revenue but if you're on platforms such as Twitch streamers actually get way more they get about 55% of the ad revenue so you can also then look at which channels work for you and which channels have the best monetization model and what I like about being a content creator is that you're not limited to working on one platform only you can also diversify you can be on YouTube and TikTok YouTube and Instagram Instagram and TikTok 
or Snapchat and Twitch. It all really just depends in terms of where your audience is, what works best with the type of content that you create as an individual. So for this particular channel, this channel got monetized in March of 2021 and I've been on YouTube for like three years, but let's be honest, I have not been consistent. If you've been watching any of my content, you know that probably in a year I can probably post like 14 videos out of 52 weeks. So like 14 videos, that's like one video a week. But, but you can see where I'm going with this. I have not been consistent. Nonetheless, I've still been able to earn a consistent income from the time that my channel has been monetized. And for this particular channel, from the time that I got monetized, I've been able to earn at least 3,000 US dollars in total ad revenue. And this doesn't even include some of the sponsorship stuff that I've had to do on the channel or that I've opted to do on the channel. So when you really think about it, you're also able to see that to some people that might not be a lot of money, but for someone who's like me, who doesn't post consistently, who has a very small channel, that's a decent piece of coin that I, you know, that's a decent amount of coin that I get on a monthly basis. And I'm able to literally leverage on YouTube as a side hustle and continue to generate income or passive income from it. So really looking at it, content creation is not going anywhere. So there is an opportunity for people to consider this and decide, okay, I think I may want to create online courses that's also content creation. Or I want to become a podcaster. That's also content creation. So do take some time and think about it and just, you know, um, digest it and not rule it out just yet. So we've come to the end of this video and I really hope that you found this video to be useful. Earning money online is much, much easier now than it was five or 10 years ago. And I think that there's so many opportunities for people to be able to create content online, to be able to resell software, to be able to become transcribers. There are definitely way more opportunities now. I hope that you found this video to be super helpful and informative. Please just give this video a big fat thumbs up if you think that it was helpful or if you care. <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share it with anyone that you believe might actually benefit from it. And yes, I will see you on the next one. Bye.